huge iceberg could alter ocean currents. An iceberg has broken off from a glacier in Antarctica after being rammed by another giant iceberg, scientists said on Friday, in an event that could affect ocean circulation patterns. A 965 square mile iceberg broke off earlier this month from the Mertz glaciers, 100 mile floating tongue of ice that sticks out into the southern ocean. The collision has since half the size of the tongue that drains ice from the vast East Antarctic ice sheet. The calving itself hasn't been directly linked to climate change, but it is related to the natural processes occurring on the ice sheet, said a senior scientist at the Australian Antarctic Division and the Antarctic Climate and Ecosystems Cooperative Research Center in Hobart, Tasmania. Both organizations, along with French scientists, have been studying existing giant cracks in the ice tongue and monitored the bumper car-like collision by the second iceberg, B-9B. This 60 mile long slab of ice is a remnant of an iceberg of more than 1,900 square miles that broke off or calved in 1987, making it one of the largest icebergs ever recorded in Antarctica. The Mertz Glacier Iceberg is among the largest recorded for several years at about two-thirds the size of Rhode Island. In 2002, an iceberg about 120 miles long broke off from Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf. In 2007, an iceberg roughly the size of Singapore broke off from the Pine Island Glacier in West Antarctica. The two icebergs are now drifting together approximately 60 to 90 miles off Antarctica following the collision on February 12th or February 13th, said Australian Antarctic Division glaciologist Neil Young. It gave a pretty big nudge, Young said, of the iceberg's collision. They are now floating right next to each other. Oceans act like a giant flywheel for the plant's climate by shifting heat around the globe by myriad currents above and below the surface. The shearing off of the ice tongue and the presence of the Mertz and B9B icebergs could affect global ocean circulation and in turn this could change the world's weather patterns. The area is an important zone for the creation of dense salty water that is a key driver of major worldwide currents. Experts said if part of the glacier gone, the area could fill with sea ice which would disrupt the ability for the dense and cold water to sink. So this sinking water is what spills into ocean basins and feeds the global ocean currents with oxygen. Removal of this tongue of floating ice would reduce the size of the area of open water, which would slow down the rate of salinity input into the ocean, and it could slow down this rate of Antarctic bottom water formation. As there are only a few areas in the world where this occurs, a slowing of the process would mean less oxygen supplied into the deep currents that feed the oceans. There may be regions of the world's oceans that lose oxygen and then of course most of the life there will simply die, said a chemical oceanographer at the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research in Germany. And again, this could 
effect the world's climate in the years to come by changing the water circulation or the oxygen circulation in the world's oceans which in turn have an effect on worldwide weather patterns and again there's something much more going on here something much bigger real change must happen and these are more signs of the end times transition days the transition is in effect it is a process and again there are many types of signs happening daily all around the world.